Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking on my video today. I am doing a tea and coffee cupboard um, declutter and reorganize. My mother-in-law was kind enough to give me these really cool Sistema matching containers that she had just never used to redo her pantry. So I thought I would use them in this cupboard, which had been driving me a little bit nuts. Um, everything was just still in original boxes. And honestly, it was just making it hard to see how many I had left um, of things, whether it was herbal tea, normal black tea bags or coffee. So I decided to do something about that. So it was really nice, actually, um, because I do have loose tea as well as tea bags. And I've always really loved using um, recycled can, um, jars and things like that. So that's why I've got so many jars at the top there, just whenever I need to store something. Um, so, yeah, I still love my jars. I wasn't getting rid of them, but I just needed to tidy up the jars and also just really take um, all my herbal teas and put them all together take all the coffee and coffee beans and put them into containers just so that they were fresh. Um, and yeah, I was really happy with the outcome. So I'll leave you guys watch it and I hope you find this really relaxing and you get some motivation to you to do your tea and coffee area.
you can see I'm just doing a general tidy up of the jar shelf. I didn't get rid of any of my jars and sometimes I actually find it difficult to find the lids so I just put them all in one nice little pile unless they were already attached to it and I just find that a little bit easier. Um, and yeah typically I use a lot of my bigger jars that I've never had lids for for vases um, so I just wanted to keep them all together and I was just really pleased with how the whole cupboard came together. So all nice and tidy across the top and then our lovely tea and coffee area which was so much nicer to look at and I couldn't believe how many containers I actually got rid of out of the tea and coffee area. There was actually 10 other separate containers as you can see here on my sink and they were all emptied and getting ready to go in the dishwasher. <sighs> Thank you so much for watching my video today. It was the tea cupboard was something I've been wanting to do for ages. Um, you know, as I, I would have voiceovered the video, but God, it was a relief because now opening up that cupboard so many times a day, it's just so satisfying now to see it much tidier and much more pleasing to look at. So yeah, that was really important and I'm glad I got it done. Plus, I'm sitting at our new dining area. I'm sorry I didn't film this. It was just something I kind of did on the whim. But this is my grandmother's table that my that her father built, so my great-grandfather. And I've been wanting to bring it into the house and modernize it. Um, yeah, so it was built by my great-grandfather and when my grandmother passed away, it was something that nobody else really wanted and there was no way I was going to have it go to charity or be sold. So I took it, it's a French polish, so it's not exactly a modern style, um, but it is something that actually still looks okay, I think, with some modern touches and more modern chairs. So yeah, it's gonna make do for a while. And honestly, it was something I already had. Um, this was something I already had. This was something I already had when we styled our last home when we sold it at auction. Uh, the chairs were something we already had. So I was just working with what I already had. Um, and I had been looking at dining suites, even though they were second hand for $200 or so. And yeah, they were okay, but they were no better than this. And this is stable and it's a table and it's timber. Like that's all I wanted. Um, so, so that's a really good tip. If you are, even when you're looking around for something new and you're positive, absolutely positive that that's what you want, have another look around and see if there's anything that you could repurpose or just redesign. Um, Pinterest is obviously really good for that. I love Pinterest, gave me a lot of inspiration of what I was already looking for. And then it also gave me inspiration of what I can do to dress up something that I already have. So I'm really getting excited to think when this whole room is done um, with the new paint color and the sanding back of the baseboards and things like that. So I'm really looking forward to that because um, it will just totally change the look of this room. Um, and then having this, you know, a little bit more country, modern country, I hope, theming in there. Um, yeah, I'll be really happy with that. So thank you so much for watching. I have been wanting to do this video for a while and I'm glad I actually got to do it. So yeah, thanks. Thanks for clicking on me today and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye.